Hi there, my name is Lawrence Tyndall, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform a VLOOKUP in Microsoft Excel. Before we get started with performing a VLOOKUP, I'd like to quickly explain what a VLOOKUP is and what it's used for. A VLOOKUP is a function in Excel that allows you to obtain information from a table using a lookup value. For example, you could use a VLOOKUP if you were trying to find the name of an employee by their ID number the price of a part number, or the email address of a customer. These are all common scenarios that VLOOKUPs can be used for. Please note, in order for a VLOOKUP function to work correctly, you'll need four pieces of information. The first is a lookup value. This is the value that you're wanting to look up. For example, this could be an employee ID. The second is the range. This is where the lookup value is located. In this example, this could be a range containing employee IDs and names. Please note, in order for the VLOOKUP function to successfully work, the lookup value should always be located in the first column of your range. So if the employee ID was located in column D, then your range should start in D. The third piece of information that you need to specify is the column number in the range that contains the value that you'd like to have returned. In the example of the employee ID and employee name, if employee ID is located in column D and their name is located in column E, then we'll want to specify 2 as the column to return, since it's the second column located in our range. If our range contained more than two columns, then we'd simply specify the number of the desired column we'd like to return values from. The fourth piece of information we can specify in the VLOOKUP function allows you to specify if you want an appropriate match or an exact match for the return value. Within the function, you can use the word TRUE, which is used for an appropriate match, or FALSE, which is used for an exact match. This part of the function is optional, but if you don't specify what type of match you'd like, the default value will always be TRUE, which uses an appropriate match. Now that we've talked about what a VLOOKUP is, what it's used for, and what information is needed for it to work, let's put it into practice. As you can see here in Excel, I've created a spreadsheet that contains a list of employee IDs, their names, and then we have a field where we can specify the employee ID, and next to it, see the employee's name. In today's tutorial, we're going to create a VLOOKUP formula so the user of this spreadsheet can enter the employee's ID in the ID field and then have the employee's name automatically be returned in the field below. To get started, we're going to click on the cell E4 for the employee's name and start to enter equals VLOOKUP. This is specifying that we're using the VLOOKUP function. Then we're going to select open brackets, which is also referred to as parentheses. Then we're going to select the cell E3, since this is where we'll be obtaining the lookup value from. Now we're going to add a comma, and then specify the range in which the lookup value is located in. So I'm going to hold my mouse and select the range of data from A2 to B28. Now let's add another comma. In this part of the formula, we need to specify the column index number, which will determine where in the range the return value comes from. We're going to enter 2, since the return value we're looking for is name, and that's located in the second column of our range. Now for the final part of the formula, I'm going to enter false, since we would like an exact match on the ID number. That way, we'll always get the correct employee's name based upon an exact match of the specified ID number. To complete this VLOOKUP formula, we'll want to add a closed bracket and then hit Enter. You'll notice that in the Employee Name field, it currently says NA. This is because there is no current match, which makes sense because we haven't specified an employee ID yet. Now to test out our VLOOKUP formula, we can go into the Employee ID field enter various ID numbers, and see the corresponding employee names returned. And it's as simple as that. Creating VLOOKUPs can help you return back information from thousands of records based upon matching values, and helps save you hundreds of hours in manual data comparison efforts. If you like this tutorial, feel free to hit the like button, 
and if you'd like to watch more videos like this one, then feel free to subscribe.